So today I'm going to review the tire from J Concepts. They're called the J Concepts Scorpios. So here they are. They're on our Unimog right now, but we did most of our testing on a Vanquish VS410 and we did a lot of A-B testing with a Proline Hyrax and you'll see how they performed. Curious? Tune in and find out more. So here we are in a test course. First line is on the leftmost very slippery rock. And we're gonna try to crawl it as much as possible. The J Concept Scorpio is pretty cool because it has these side knobs. And right there, you see the front one grab. Right there, the rear is gonna grab. So the side knobs on the face of the tire actually help out if you have a lot of sharp rock that hits the sidewall of your vehicle. Here it is braking. Pretty good grip. So we're not going to do A-B testing but if you've seen any of our videos most of these lines are really only handled well by the Proline Hyrax Predator. So that's kind of the standard. We're using a Vanquish VS410 Pro not really modified but a very very balanced vehicle right here slippery rock again we're trying to go slow side knobs seem to help and here we're gonna attempt this this climb about three times it's a very steep rock but even more important there's a hole right there where the rear wheels are so you have to be able to power through Get a little momentum and maintain balance. So these tires are mounted on SSD beadlocks, very nice wheels. They're fairly new. This is day one. We, we tried to, to scrub it on the asphalt but we anticipate it'll get a little better. Usually tires get a little better after a really big good scrubbing or after about three battery packs. But this tire seems to be clean, free of oil, and has good sticky gummy rubber. Right there, these are very difficult lines. Uh, a power attempt, as you can see, maintains good momentum. And here is our Hall of Doom, and this thing does so well, we're even going to go right side. So on dry, slippery, grippy rock mix, it does very well. And so here we're going to do some sharp rocks with dirt. It does well too, I think on the rocks with a lot of edges. The the many many teeth or knobs of the tire with good siping and the side knobs really help it grab. On the dirt, loose dry dirt, they're very good. In fact, that's one area where it might be better than the Proline Hyrax. You know, because there's so many knobs that that give and conform. On the on the loose slippery rocks, it's close to the high rocks, but not quite there. And one thing for sure is it looks good. You know, it looks it looks pretty scale. Lots of knobs that that look like what you might see in real life. Remember that we reviewed the pro the J Concepts landmines not too long ago. But they haven't been available, so we haven't finished our review on them. Very good on soft dirt, but on slippery rock, the landmines are not so good. We are going to finish our review soon. So here we are on very, very steep dirt, as you can see. When the dirt is disturbed, it just falls all the way down. The SEX-103 Black Jeep has Hyrax tires. And 
the Vanquish has the J Concept Scorpios. So this is not a new tire. It's been around 2016, usually on short course trucks. But they've and and they've just released it on crawlers many years ago. But it hasn't really gotten a lot of attention. But I, maybe they improved their compound, their their green super soft compound, and this is their own foam, their green soft foam, does very well, and it's got some nice support. Here it is in a hole leaves loose this is where they really excel look at that conforms nicely but has good support as well so here it is on a second vehicle a axel umg 10 unimog ssd wheels again but a little weighted 100 gram brass rings and these are very difficult rocks, very round and slippery. And the Scorpios really excelled here. This is not traditionally a great rock rolling vehicle, but seemed like a good match. Because it looks scale, it attracts, complements the look of the vehicle, and they actually perform. Look at that thing. And like we said, you know, because of very close spacing, this is not a good tire for slippery, muddy conditions. It's going to pack up with mud very quickly. It's not going to clear. So avoid those conditions for this tire. But the slippery rock, the hard stuff, seems to do really well. And another thing we like is it is affordable. You know, in the age of $30, a pair of tires or $60 a set. These are only around 40 for a set of four. So there you go. What do you guys think? In a nutshell, it's pretty darn awesome. So we just tested it with stock tire, uh, stock, stock foams. Broke it in a little bit, but you know, fairly new tires. And they seem to be getting better with time. We have about five packs on it and it does really well you know, climbing, descending, side hilling, so, and on the dirt, it might uh, be a little better performer than the, than the Hyrax. And uh, just their stock foam. It's, a, it's not as soft as what they put in the, uh, on this one, the, uh, what do you call this, the landmines. Uh, a little more supportive, uh, but it seems to perform quite well.